I cannot believe we have just 10 days left until show day. Good morning guys, Brandon Harden here. Hope you're having a great day today. We are currently 10 days out from the first show, the 28th of April at Exeter. We're competing in the PCA Classic Show, if you didn't know. And today, I'm gonna to be taking you through a full day of eating, showing you guys exactly what I'm gonna be eating. 10 days out, calories are low, proteins moderately high, carbs are low, fats are extremely low. I'm gonna show you guys in this video exactly what I'm consuming. We're still doing cardio, we're still doing all the things we need to do. We're still trying to push through workouts on these decreased calories, but we're pushing through. We're gonna get it done. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. So then guys, before we get into the food of today, I just got back from cardio, had a shower, tried to wake myself up because this morning was the hardest cardio session of this prep so far. I found myself walking to the gym, dragging my feet. I feel so lifeless this morning. I didn't want to get out of bed, honestly. It took a lot for me to like get to the gym and do cardio this morning, but we still got it done. Like I said, before we get into the food, I'm going to show you guys what I'm weighing at this morning because... We hit a new low weigh-in. We're dangerously close to the projected weight I wanted to be on stage, which is 195 pound. And based on this morning's weight, we're close to that. As you can see, this morning I was weighing at 195.8 pounds, which is literally insane considering the amount of weight that I've lost over the past seven, well, eight days, as you can see. But we're not gonna slow down, we're not gonna refeed, we're not gonna cheat, we're gonna keep on pushing. You could say it is quite dangerous how fast the scale is dropping, but the judges do not give a shit what the scale says. They want to see the striated hamstrings, the striated glutes, and they are slowly coming in now. I just need to keep on pushing for condition. I got to a point a couple of days ago, where I was like, you know what? I'm quite scared that the scale is dropping so fast. I need a refeed, I need a cheat. And then I thought back to what was the original thing I said I was gonna do at the beginning of this series. This series is called Hard Body Shredding Redemption because we are trying to redeem ourselves from the mistakes we made in the previous show, which was refeeding when it started to get hard. And yes, it's gonna get painful. The next few days are gonna be probably the hardest days I've ever experienced in my life, but it is a necessary pain. And then you never know, we get the stage pictures back, I look lifeless and stringy on stage, then we know for the Body Power Show 13 days later that I need to carb up for the show just to give myself the ability to get more of a pump to present a more full package on stage. We're gonna go downstairs right now and finally make some breakfast. Yes. This is what I need. Start the day off right with your favorite zero calorie beverage. Honestly, when I previously said I was thinking about fasting from these, the idea of fasting from these right now, it's just not gonna happen. They are keeping me alive. The caffeine from these gets me through the beginning of the day. And if it wasn't for this, I'd probably be dead right now. No fasting shall be done. No, that's what we need to go to Tesco to get. My favorite seasoning, the Vegeta seasoning. We bought a massive pack at the beginning of prep. It has lasted us 14 weeks and it's finally gone. Salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic. I think guys, so breakfast is served featuring 75 grams of kale, 75 grams of spinach, 300 milliliters of egg whites, and topped with the Walden Farms pancake syrup. Next, we have 40 grams of porridge oats put in the microwave, 30 second intervals. I like to add a lot of water, so they basically soak up more water. It seems like you're eating more food, and also featuring the smallest spoon in the apartment, so it feels like I'm eating more. But the oats are topped with the My Protein Toffee flavor drops to add a little bit of flavor, and also we are sipping on the first of of three bottles of one and a half liter Buxton. That's what's for breakfast. The macros are gonna be listed on the screen right over here. I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm so hungry right now. I'm actually starting to like shake a little bit. So right now we're gonna dig into this. It may look bland, but with the Walden Farms syrup, mm, it's really not. It's really not. This is my favorite meal of the day. Holy shit. You get to a point on prep where you really do freaking appreciate the small things, like breakfast. And then here are the oats, looking pretty fluffy. 
pretty nice. Mm. I feel like I'm having a cheat meal now, only because I've tried to stay fasted for as long as possible. It's literally 1.30 right now. Woke up about 10 o'clock and just like got cardio done, showered, ready, started making this video and just like tried to leave breakfast for as long as possible. So all my calories that I'm consuming today are in a smaller window. Therefore, I'm gonna feel a lot more full throughout the day and cravings will be curved as much as they can be. But um, this is like a freaking cheat meal right now. All right then guys, so it is a couple hours in the future right now. Just woke up from a half an hour nap i found having like a small nap after breakfast because usually after doing cardio getting back and just consuming carbs it kind of like knocks me out so i'm trying not to fight it right now to be able to pursue the rest of my day with energy before we get into meal number two i want to talk about the sponsor of today's video because yes we do have a sponsor as you know throughout the past few weeks of prep i've been seriously struggling with the ability to sleep i've been using this product for the past two weeks and it's a company that reached out to me and they sent me some products and i didn't want to tell you what i was using until i actually could have the chance to test them to make sure it worked and it's this company called Provacan. There's a link in the description if you want to pick anything up and I do have a discount code. It's hardbody for 15% off. It is the first link in the description if you want to take a look at their website but I've been using these CBD lozenges. They're flavor orange and they're actually sugar free as well so I can still have them on prep and I've also been using the CBD oil from their company. You just take one droplet about half an hour before bed. The reason I actually started using CBD is because of the profound health benefits. I'm just going to touch on a few. One, it reduces is anxiety and on prep anxiety is something that is quite high right now so it really helps me chill out it decreases depression it's great for heart health and it acts as a minor pain suppressor it just really puts me in a position where i can mellow out i find it really hard to switch off these days especially like with things going on behind the scenes making youtube videos prep and just like the pressure of like wanting to place first overthinking everything cbd really has helped make the past two weeks of prep a lot easier. So if you want to pick up these products from Provacan, link in the description, code HARDBODY for 15% off. Now we're gonna get into meal number two. As you can see, we have 200 grams of chicken breast, 40 grams of jasmine rice at its uncooked weight, and 50 grams of asparagus, and then topped with this honey mustard style sauce, near zero calorie. It's not completely zero calorie, but it basically is because there's like one calorie per serving. Really adds some flavor to all of my meals. I, it's the sauce I use pretty much on every single meal. It almost tastes like the Big Mac burger sauce. It doesn't taste like honey mustard. It tastes like Big Mac burger sauce, as I keep on telling myself. This is meal number two. The macros are gonna be listed on the screen right here. Right now, we're gonna dig into this and stop talking because I'm too hungry to talk. I think guys, so it's a couple hours in the future right now. Somehow found the energy to be ultra productive, ran the Facebook group, did my emails, went to Tesco, did some shopping. This is everything we just picked up. We got two white monsters and two purple monsters because these are my favorite. I'm yet to try the green one. I don't know where to get it from, like around my area. So I'm stuck with the white one and the purple one for now. We got a new Vegeta seasoning. This is the seasoning that I like to use. I got it from Tesco. Picked up also some asparagus, some pink Himalayan salt, two of the zero fat natural Greek yogurts, and just some extra shaving foam and these cheap razors that I like to use to shave my body. As you can see, we're just preparing the next meal for today. It is nothing interesting. It's actually exactly the same meal that I had previously, meal number two. So the macros are gonna be on the screen again right here. This is gonna be the pre-workout meal. We're gonna have this, let it digest for about half an hour, then head to the gym for a chest and tricep workout. Debating on whether to do PM cardio today because of the amount that the scale is dropping, I may be like, scrapping off PM cardio just for a little bit until the scale stops dropping so fast. I am still doing fasted obviously every single morning, but the cardio that I do on the nighttime, which is essentially 30 minutes incline walking, may be cut off depending on how I'm feeling after the workout. May do it, may not, but you'll see. All right guys, so we just got to the gym, made a pre-workout drink. Not actually having a pre-workout today. It's just glutamine and BCAs. I want to be out of sleep tonight and I just finished a monster, so that's pretty much all the caffeine I'll need. The gym is looking alive tonight. This honestly is one of the freaking sickest gyms in Birmingham. All the equipment as well, as you can see, is hammer strength, which is sick. And there is always a good vibe in a gym when the music is actually sick, when you don't need to bring headphones because it's not pure gym and you can just vibe off the tunes they play in the gym. That's what it's about. Good music and some pretty good ass lighting. All those three things equal a sick gym. Final set on the incline bench. I'm finding it so hard to go heavy on bench right now. Just like my shoulder joint and my elbows, they hurt so much. Like I warmed up on one plate, one and a half plates, which I never do. I just jump plates. I feel like a bitch right now. 100 kilo, incline press, final set. Oh. 
Ah, das war I feel like I've been training for like one year. This is my first year. I'm just trying to hit two plates. <laughs> And harder to get a pump every single workout, but somehow, some way, we're still doing it. The summer's calling. about to get into the post-workout meal. As you know, you may have seen it on the channel before, but we have our 80 grams of Rice Krispies, which is my cereal of choice with 200 milliliters of almond milk. And I understand that unsweetened tastes like shit, so you can add the My Protein Vanilla Flavor Drops to mix into the cereal when it's all like in the bowl, and it makes it taste really, really good. And then also, it's almost like protein frosting because it has the same texture as icing all you do is you get any iso protein of choice some work better than others add a little bit of cold water you can put it in the freezer to make it that much more cold and that much more like more like a treat this as you can see is the consistency look at that all it is is 50 grams of protein Mm, but it doesn't taste like protein. You can drink a shake or you can make it fun like this. So the macros of this meal are gonna be listed on the screen right there. I'm gonna dig into this because the shakes are back. That was an intense workout. Honestly, I don't know how I got the energy to hit chest and triceps with the ferocity that I did, but we did it. Now we're gonna chill out. Beautiful. All right guys, it's a couple hours in the future right now. This is gonna be my fifth meal of today. The time is 10.30. This meal and my next meal are only gonna be half an hour apart just because I don't wanna be eating until too late. My trouble lately is getting into a deep enough sleep, but obviously if my body is working on digesting food late into the night, I'm not gonna have a very good sleep, but this is what we have for meal number five. 220 grams of cod at its cooked weight, another 50 grams of asparagus, and we're gonna top this of course, with the honey mustard style sauce. I'm just gonna get myself a fork. The macros of this meal are gonna be listed on the screen right over here. And yes, fish has begun. I'm beginning fish two days earlier just because I am absolutely sick of 2% fat turkey mint. It tastes like rubber. Fish is lower in calories. The fat content in fish is obviously lower as well. So if anything, I'm just speeding up the process of becoming more lean. I love fish. I'm a seafood kind of guy. I can have cod. I can have like mixed prawns. I just personally like cod. And with 
this sauce. It's freaking great, so I'm not complaining. Right now, me and Brittany, she's right over there enjoying her If It Fits Your Macros meal. She literally has pasta, low fat cheese, garlic, and like butter. This, it's not butter, it's not butter. It's like a seasoning that tastes like butter, but she's essentially eating If It Fits Your Macros mac and cheese. I'm following a meal plan. I'm, I'm doing if it fits your macros next time. This isn't working out. Definitely if it fits your macros next time because it just looks too good and she's progressing. Results are showing. She's finally dropping weight. We will figure that out next prep, probably in a year's time. We have a little bit to wait, but it's going to happen. I'm going to put this on my meal, enjoy some Netflix with my beautiful girlfriend, and then I'll see you at my next meal. Oh, yes, mate. It is about half an hour in the future right now. Just made the final meal of today. This is gonna be meal number six, but all it is is essentially 200 grams of zero fat Greek yogurt. I've added some toffee flavor drops so it doesn't taste like shit because zero fat, anything is basically pointless. It's put on this earth to starve us and to give us just no satisfaction whatsoever. And it makes us crave everything that we wouldn't usually crave. Like I crave the weirdest things right now. I'm starting a series on this channel. There is gonna be dirty cheat day videos coming very soon promise after prep i'm going to be doing things like putting a cookie inside a subway sandwich with the crisps chili heat wave doritos just in one sandwich and i'm going to delete it before we actually lose our minds talking about all the things we're going to plan for the future this is what i want to touch on quickly before i do in this video because obviously throughout the whole video all you've heard me do is complain about how hungry I am, how hard I'm feeling it. And yes, I'm 10 days out tomorrow. I'm nine days out. The macros that I'm currently consuming, they are quite low. I think one thing to think about is how lucky I am to be able to have food consistently throughout the day because there are some people that do not have access to food like we do. Like we even have a food sponsor. We get our chicken sent to us and we are unbelievably lucky to be in the position to have that and to just have like a fridge to keep our food cold. There are some people that don't even know when their next meal is gonna be. They can't afford to go out and enjoy themselves, which are all that we plan on doing after the show. One thing that makes this prep a lot easier is just understanding how lucky I am and how lucky we are. That being said guys, these are the final macros of this meal and these are the final macros of today. Do not worry. I know they're quite low, especially the fat it is a necessary pain for the condition we want on the stage. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. If you haven't already, join the Don Squad. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.